the next crew headed for the International Space Station is made up of three small town boys who all grew up with dreams of flying. Retired Air Force Colonel Kevin Ford is a product of Northeastern Indiana. The youngest of six kids was born in Portland, raised in Montpelier, and graduated high school in Hartford City. He was 14 when his oldest brother gave him his first ride in a small plane, and Ford was hooked on flying. I started working in a grocery store. I, I happened to, uh, to have a grocer in my town who had his own airplane, and so he was really willing to give me a job, and give me all the hours I needed to pay for flying lessons. Ford already had his pilot's license when he finished high school and went to Notre Dame as an Air Force ROTC student. He graduated with a Bachelor's of Science in Aerospace Engineering, did his Air Force pilot training at Columbus Air Force Base in Mississippi, and was assigned to an F-15 squadron in Germany. It was 84 to 87, so um, kind of the height of the Cold War kind of, kind of time. Never saw myself in the future flying in a Soyuz at that, at that point, I'll tell you that. Then it was a fighter interceptor squadron in Iceland, while finishing his Master of Science degree in International Relations from Troy State, before being selected for the Air Force Test Pilot School. Ford earned a Master of Science in Aerospace Engineering at the University of Florida while flying as a test pilot at Eglin Air Force Base. And then he took a three-year assignment to complete a doctorate in astronautical engineering from the Air Force Institute of Technology. He served as an instructor at the Air Force Test Pilot School before being selected as an astronaut in 2000 and did a tour as NASA's Director of Operations in Star City, Russia, before making his first trip to the International Space Station as the pilot on a 2009 shuttle supply flight during Expedition 20. Ford is a supporter of robotic exploration beyond low Earth orbit. But I think that the human, the emotional connection comes about because uh, we, we see ourselves out there, we project ourselves out there, and, and we really want to go explore on our own, have a look with our own eyes. Russian Air Force Colonel Oleg Novitsky is from Chervin, a small town near Minsk in what is now the Republic of Belarus. Flying in space was his childhood dream. When I was a kid, I remember looking into the dark uh, sky with stars and it was like a magnet. After I grew up, I realized that it's not as easy to become a cosmonaut, so I picked the shortest route. That meant becoming a military pilot. After high school, he entered the Boris Oglebs Military Pilot School. But when the military reformed itself after the fall of the Soviet Union, he moved to the Kachin Flight School and graduated with a specialization in command tactical aviation. After that, I also studied uh, to uh, work with uh, military machinery, which took about one year. And in 1995, I was assigned to work in the city of Budyonovsk, Stavropol region, where I started uh, working as a military pilot. Over the years, Novitsky was an active duty pilot and rose to become the deputy commander of a squadron based in the North Caucasus. He studied military unit management at the Yuri Gagarin Air Force Academy before serving as commander of an attack air squadron and was selected to begin cosmonaut training in 2007. He was serving as the Russian Space Agency's director of operations in Houston when he was selected for his first flight. I think throughout our entire flight uh, we accumulate experience and knowledge just like uh, athletes who train uh, to break a record. So we are preparing and uh, I hope that uh, in the uh, future we will uh, perform a long duration space flight hopefully to Mars. Russian Air Force Lieutenant Colonel Yevgeny Tarelkin is the son of a military pilot and a military doctor. He was born in Pervomesky in the Cheetah region in southeastern Siberia, but lived all over the country. In his desire to become a pilot, he made his first parachute jump at the age of 11, despite not weighing enough to make the system work. I added sand to my pockets, to my boots, and so I did come to weigh 50 kilos, so I went ahead and I jumped. Tarelkin graduated from high school in Chikalovsky, near Star City spent time at a military academy in Monino, graduated from the Eisk Air Force Pilot School, and then the Yuri Gagarin Military Academy, 
with a specialty in air transport operations and air traffic management. His first job was at the Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center as a flight test engineer, training cosmonauts in survival skills and, as luck would have it, parachuting. Being that close to the cosmonauts got him thinking, I could do that. I thought I was ready, I felt prepared, I felt I had the knowledge, and I thought that maybe I'll make more contribution as part of the cosmonaut corps. After almost four years training cosmonauts, including zero-gravity training in aircraft and underwater, Tarelkin was selected to join the cosmonaut corps himself in 2003 and take on a new role in the effort to explore beyond Earth orbit. So this low Earth orbit stage is really necessary, but we need to look forward and uh, to think about uh, flying to stars, to other planets, maybe meet our alien brothers there, who knows.